Ten Hag's injury problems, especially in defense, have been nothing but damaging. It has left summer outcast, Harry Maguire, and usual fifth-choice Johnny Evans as the club's defensive starting partners. Signing a fresh central defender has been reported as a main priority for Ten Hag, and Jean Claire Todibo of Nice has been perennially linked to the club. Evening Standard have reported, however, that United's domestic rivals Tottenham Hotspur are also in contention for his services. The Frenchman has been key in the unforeseen pursuit of the League One title, as Nice currently sit four points behind table topper Paris Saint Germain conceding just six goals in 15 outings, he could certainly provide some defensive acumen to Ten Hag's backline. In another gist, we have respected transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, who recently said that Antonio Silva is 100% united level amid the clamor over his signature. The 20-year-old has been on the club's radar for quite some time now after breaking into first-team proceedings at Portuguese stalwarts, Benfica. A stumbling block that United could face in their pursuit of the Wonder Kid is his employer's asking price, which is set at a lofty £87 million. Despite the eye-watering fee, it has been reported that Ten Hag and his entourage are willing to spend big to iron out their defensive frailties. Meanwhile, fending off the likes of Real Madrid and Chelsea may be on the agenda should they streamline their attention to the young talent. If that will be the case, we have another defensive talent in. Everton youngster Jared Branthwaite possesses a quality that neither Todibo nor Silva do. Premier League experience. Emerging as one of the Toffees standout players of 2023-24, the Englishman has piqued interest from a lot of top English clubs, most notably the Red Devils. Signed for just £1 million by the Merseysiders, his arrival at Goodison Park is one of the best bits of business the club have done. Still just 21 years of age, Branthwaite could become a mainstay in the Old Trafford defence for years to come, with Team Talk claiming he is their primary defensive target. His impressive positioning and good decision-making on the ball are two aspects of his game that Ten Hag is a big fan of. Enough of the defenders, let take a take at the midfield. Frankie de Jong has been on United Radar for a long time now, a player that is all too well known by fans of the Manchester-based outfit after a drawn-out saga ended in him remaining at the Camp Nou. While Frankie de Jong, one of Barcelona's best signings of the post-Neymar era, Manchester United are crying out for him to arrive in Greater Manchester and be a cool head in possession in front of the back line, and the Dutchman is the perfect fit. Having acted as one of Ten Hag's midfield operators at Ajax, the two could resume their pre-existing relationship in arguably the toughest league in world football. Whether the tempo-dictating midfielder could perform in the high-energy nature of England's top flight is another question, as is whether the Red Devils could pry him away from Xavi and co. But there's no disputing his undeniable talent and United's ever-growing interest in him. Another tough tackler that is accustomed to the thrills and spills of the Premier League is Fulham's Joao Palhinha. He could be the answer to many of Ten Hag's problems. The Portugal powerhouse proved his willingness to explore pastures new in the summer and was whiskers away from sealing a move to Bayern Munich before the window slammed firmly shut. As such, United could swoop in after being priced out over the summer months. His 90 million pounds Valuation proved to be too much of a dent to the Red Devil's prospective kitty. But returning in January is still very much on the table, especially as the midfielder was keen on a move. With Casemiro underperforming and Kabi Mainu not potentially not equipped to start every game for the club, snaring someone of Palhinha's ilk and expertise would be very clever business. Joao Neves, a player that United captain, Bruno Fernandes is a keen admirer of. 19-year-old Joao Neves looks destined for greatness, and United could be one step ahead of the curve by snaring his signature. Neves has taken European football by storm and is poised to become his club's next high-profile big-money sale. Having spat out the likes of Bernardo Silva and Ruben Diaz in yesteryear, Neves is primed to become the next best thing out of their fabled academy and United are one of the would-be buyers, 
ready to trigger his 103 million pounds release clause currently written into his contract. Albeit a mouth-watering figure for someone with limited first-team prestige, planning ahead could be smart, especially with 100 million pounds plus transfers now commonplace in the Premier League. Not only are United interested in Everton's Branthwaite, but the Toffees' impressive midfield general Amadou Onana could also be on their shortlist. Over the summer, the club's search for midfield reinforcements led them to make an approach for the Belgian star. His current employers were reluctant to sell, though given his importance to Sean Dyche, but should Ten Hag table an offer too hard to refuse, the Dutchman could enrich his roster with a Premier League proven ace in January. Onana would bring a level of physicality to the center of the park, an attribute that has been lacking in abundance during 2023-24, but also a calm and composed head able to pick out passes and disrupt opposition attacks. Given that he was on their list of potential recruits in the summer, you can imagine he won't be too far from their winter wish list either. 20-year-old Rasmus Hoyland is still yet to get off the mark domestically, despite hitting the ground running in the Champions League, plundering five goals in five European fixtures. As such, another center forward to support the youngster's progression could be necessary. And despite his torrid stint in the Premier League with Chelsea, Timo Werner has been mooted as a potential stand-in. With the 57-cap German international unsatisfied with his current situation, but happy to remain until next summer, potential suitors Real Madrid have cooled their interest, leaving the door ajar for Ten Hag and his men. When Evan Ferguson was included in the Premier League's best teenage 11, he was a fresh-faced striker, earning his corn at Bohemians. The 20-time English champions came calling, though a clear route to first-team football at Brighton and Hove Albion seemed the most attractive option. His goal-scoring prowess this campaign has seemingly impressed Ten Hag, though, and so they could return to the table with an improved bid in the hopes he could come in and support Hoyland. Since the Irishman has set English football alight and has become one of the league's most sought-after prospects, though, his signature will cost any side a pretty penny. According to recent reports, the United target, despite signing a recent contract extension, could be on the move, according to Brighton CEO Paul Barber. As already mentioned, Hodgland has had an impressive start to his career in England, especially in regards to the Champions League, where he has netted five times. This makes it seem unlikely that Ten Hag would look to bring in another centre forward as it may stunt the growth of the 20-year-old. However, Ivan Tony has been mooted as a potential January recruit. Tony is the perfect man to come in to have an immediate impact with his Premier League experience, being a valuable quality that cannot be understated. Currently serving a suspension for gambling-related expenses, the Brentford forward is set to return to the game in January, and it was reported by football transfers during the summer that United have already held talks with Tony over a mid-season move to Old Trafford. Brentford boss Thomas Frank has told reporters that the striker's future is out of his hands, suggesting a departure could be imminent. Ivan is a world-class player, so why should we sell a world-class player? I want him to play for Brentford for the rest of his contract, but that's not up to me to decide. A hands-off warning has reportedly been issued to the Old Trafford Club amid their interest in Valencia youngster Javi Guerra, according to the Daily Mail. Even with this being said, an 86 million release clause exists within his current contract, meaning the possibility is there should United deem the wonder kid worthy of such a price tag. Guerra became a part of the first-team squad with the Spanish club earlier this year, making his debut in April 2023. The 20-year-old has since been promoted to the senior team permanently for the 2023-24 campaign. While Ten Hag's concerns lie mainly with the present struggles, the Dutch boss will likely also be looking to the future that he intends to spend in the old Trafford dugout for the next big talent emerging in the game. Other Premier League clubs such as Newcastle United are said to be in the mix for the Spanish midfielder's signature. With Anthony Marshall expected to move on sooner or later, a striker will be on the agenda in the coming months, 
to either rotate with or play alongside Hoyland. Sesko has made a good start to life in Germany with RB Leipzig, as the forward had bagged five goals from nine appearances before this weekend's action. He moved to the Bundesliga club from RB Salzburg in the summer, which means a January deal would be extremely difficult to negotiate. But as is normally the case with the Red Bull club, every player has a price. Should the Red Devils manage to secure the signature of Sesko, they would find themselves with two of the hottest young prospects in world football, with big things also expected of Hoagland. According to the Manchester Evening News, the Old Trafford outfit have a long-standing interest in Sesco and would jump at the chance to bring the forward to the Premier League in the near future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.